we see a little girl named Tashina Ironhorse, who is so joyful we're intrigued by her life. That's her Uncle Matthew who makes her beautiful beaded dance clothes himself. travel home with her, we learn there are so many people living in her house, even her grandmother and Uncle Matthew find it hard to keep track. Five in Bobby's room, two in mine, and the two boys downstairs. So in total it's about, what, 15? Yeah. 19, I guess. <laughs> Tashina sleeps in one bed with her mother, father, and two other children. Her mother, Bobby, had wanted to be a lawyer, but life and pregnancies changed all that. Now she works as a security guard at the one casino on the reservation. Bobby often works double shifts 16 hours a day and makes $9 an hour. Come here, look into the camera. So Tashina's dad, DJ, gets Tashina and her sister, Shantae, ready. It's Shantae's first day of school. Shantae. How do you think your first day of school is going to be? On uh, Sunday. It's going to be a fun day? Fun day. DJ is getting ready to apply to be a firefighter. If there was enough housing for us, then I, I think we would get our own house. Just so me and my little family could you know, have our time instead of everybody else. And by the way, Tashina already knows what she wants to be, and that alcohol is the enemy. What do cops do? Everybody that lives here who's drunk, they put him to jail. Mary, five, one, two. This is Milton Bianas, captain of the tribal police, who told us, as we said, 80% of the adults on this reservation are addicted to alcohol, even though the tribe's decision long ago was to keep the reservation dry. Roadside monuments mark the deaths from drunk driving. And the captain tells me in this population of 40,000, last year he made 17,000 arrests involving alcohol. So where do they get the alcohol? This is the town of White Clay, which is nestled right next to the border of the reservation. Only 14 people live in White Clay. Each year the town sells more than 4 million cans of beer. 4 million. Four million a year coming out of here, and how, it's just a handful of bars. It's about four of them. Only four liquor stores taking in seven million dollars a year. The big seller is called Juice. Some flavors like a whole bottle of wine in one can. 12% 12 12 alcohol. 12% alcohol. 12 yeah. alcohol. Yeah, in, and it's fruit flavored. I, I see they got the newest stuff out called um, watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah. We stop in at one of the white clay stores. Probably a large percent, probably 90%. None of the liquor store owners lives on the reservation. It's, it's a really sensitive subject, the alcoholism. It's, you know, every, every family is affected by it. There is a kind of passive acceptance of the unacceptable. Is that fair? You just get used to it. You know, you just, you get numb. You just get numb. One of the people trying to do something about it is Terry Blue White Eyes, who runs Onpetu Luta Otepi, which means to live in a red day, a new sunrise without alcohol and drugs. She says on the reservation, the children start very young. Five, six. How did you get that drink? Well, I had, I had leftovers. It was in the bottle. It was on the table. In AA, they say, well, nobody's going to change until they hit bottom. Indians are below bottom. That valley of despair was so low, it's taken us generations to start finding out. A generation like Louise, who told us she tried marijuana. I quit because I knew it was bad. I want to go to college. And Robert, who says he's going to hold out against the undertow. 
um, drug and alcohol free. Are, are you going to experiment? No. Because I've seen a lot of things what drugs and alcohol do to you. And we had been filming at Pine Ridge almost a year when something happened. We saw an accident by the road, another casualty of alcohol. The driver had been drinking, the car hit a tree, the passenger died. Later, we learned that passenger who died was little Tashina's father, the one who got her ready in the morning, the one who was applying to get a firefighting job. Her mother and Uncle Matthew identify the body. You, was that you was gonna be a firefighter? At his funeral, the traditional drums. And quilts. And tables filled with cakes. Tashina tells us her dad is now an angel. But when you're so little, sorrow is that distant place where grown-ups get lost. <laughs> five-year-old little girl is still a giggling invitation to join her in a dance. What do I do? Do I twirl? 